in terms of demand, this is typically a sold out event. How many tickets were you able to sell? And can you tell us what was the breakdown overseas and local? Yeah, so we've managed to sell uh, about 26,500 uh, of the capacity of 34,000. So we're, we're actually very pleased with that. And then we obviously appreciate the support from the rugby community, local community. Um, I think in terms of breakdown, we, we don't have a specific breakdown in terms of the numbers, but I think that, you know, it's recognized that the majority of those will be local Hong Kong people. Now, in terms of restrictions, uh, there are a couple. We're used to those here in Hong Kong. Uh, how much of a dampener do you expect it to be? Um, I don't expect it to be a dampener. I think everyone who's bought a ticket knows what the restrictions are. Everyone's pretty used to the restrictions in Hong Kong. The vibe I've had this week talking to people is everyone's very much looking forward to the weekend. Great to have a big event back. And I think people are looking forward to a fun weekend. And uh, those restrictions are there, but it, I don't think it takes away from the key ingredients of the Sevens, which is great rugby, entertainment, and a fun weekend. Share with us the economic impact, uh, because we haven't had a Sevens in a three years, the cancellations, uh, the impact on the rugby union, because 95% of your revenue is this from this one single event. Yeah, no, obviously it's had a very significant impact. Um, we've uh, had to cut back significantly on cost. Uh, we've reduced headcount by 50%. We've had to suspend a whole range of programs, uh, national programs, community programs in Hong Kong. But I think, you know, we always... Uh, as a board, we're very conscious that whatever we did, we needed to make sure we could continue to provide those key elements that a national sports association provides. So a national team, a domestic competition, and our community foundation work. So whilst we've had that impact, I think now we're, we're very well positioned to uh, build out of COVID, reset, and move forward on a positive basis. Has the rugby union had to change its business model? Uh, well, obviously, reliance on the sevens, is, we've always been aware of the reliance on the sevens, and we've always been trying to reduce that uh, pre-COVID as well. I think, yes, we recognise that we need to look at alternative revenue streams. It is quite challenging, but I think it, the focus going forward will be to ensure that we've got a good balance between the Sevens income and other revenue sources. Of course, this is going to be a very big weekend here, but also looking ahead, uh, there's going to be another Sevens in April. What preparations are being made ahead of that? Well, yes, it's late March, early April, so um, pretty much as soon as we get this weekend done, we start again. Uh, we're liaising with um, box holders, with uh, others. We're, we're expecting a more international focus for April, obviously, uh, more traditional sevens of the past. So we're working with um, airlines, travel agents, starting to look at what we can do for April in terms of attracting that international audience. Yep.